Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Publisher. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can insert frames into a Publisher document. So you can see on the screen, I've got a blank document, nothing there. It's not one of the template options. I just want to show you how you can insert the various elements that appear in template options. So on the home tab in the middle, we can see this area called objects. You've got four basic elements to it. A text box, pictures, table, and then shapes. And shapes are just what you'd normally expect under shapes. So if I draw a text box, it says where it do, it does what it says on the tin. You type text, and that would appear inside the text box. Now, if I make that small, quite often you might want text to link to another text box. So in publisher documents, these um, text boxes are linked and you sometimes get things in overflow where you get these little dots at the end. So if I just, just type a load of text in here so I can get it to go into overflow, you can see what the symbol looks like. So this symbol is basically telling me that I've got text in this box that's not visible. So you've got two choices really. You can make it bigger like I've just done there or you link the text box to another text box. So if I get rid of this text and just show you how that would work. Now, I want to put the, I've got drawing tools up here. I'm gonna go format, shape outline. I'm just gonna select red. So we've got a shape outline. And then I want to copy this box. I'm using my control key and then letting go of the mouse to copy it three times to show you how this bit works. So picking that up, click on it, pick it up, hold the control key down. You see the little plus on the mouse, let go. Back to the top, back to format text box. This is what I want to do. So I click on that. I get like a little coffee cup, which I pour into the second box. Got a little, little indicator there saying this is now linked. And then I want to do that into the third box. So it's now linked again. So if I type in the first box, you see the arrow there. Instead of going into overfill, what it does, overflow should I say, what it does, it just drops into the next box. Should have done these a bit smaller and I don't have to type so much. So you can now see the two arrows, one either side and I can type away until it goes down into the third box. And that's what you can do with text boxes to avoid them going into overflow. And it's something when you use the template options that you need to be aware of that you don't have those three little dots in any of the text boxes that are pre-formatted because that means some text is hidden. So it's something you need to do when you're checking through a document. Now, so that was the, the text box. So next to that, you've got pictures. And if I click on that, from file, from image, and then OneDrive, I'll go from file. And there's just two pictures there, one of me, I'll use that one. So when you get a picture, you can just resize the picture, make it smaller, make it bigger. If you've got more than one picture, this little tool there allows you to flick the pictures from one to another. So if I just insert another picture, that's me as well, believe it or not, when I was 14. So what you can do on these is if you don't like this picture, you can just change it. And you can just change that one. So if you do want to change them over, basically you need to click this button. But before you do that, obviously I need to select the other area. So I'll select them both and then click the button and they just swap over like that. And you can do that until the cows come on. Now at the top there, you've got format options. If I just click on one of these, so it's different format options so you've got this sort of stuff you can put them in a, a little circle with a little shadow on there and then you've got all the normal effects that you would expect to see line size and etc etc underneath that you've got picture effects shadow bevel stuff like that now the other option is a table so I'll click on table and you like like you could do in word I can just create a table and position that wherever I want and then 
you've got these options for your table you can colour it in, you can move it up and down whatever you need to do, put your text in the middle just type away insert row below and so on, all those sort of things are available at the top there, change the text direction like so so that's the text box a picture and a table and then the third one is just basic shapes where if I bring a rectangle in draw it on the screen there's a rectangle which has also got a text box on it and you can just basically type on that now if you move a picture over this text box you can see that's now sitting on top of the picture so you can send things backwards now if you look at what it says there send the selected object back one level so there's only two levels anyhow so that's now brought that one to the front but if I sit that on top of that one and I want to send that to the back so that's more than one level I need to go center back so that's gone behind the other two objects and then you've got bring to the front like so so if I click on that one that is in the middle so I can bring that forward and it comes before this picture here so basically this little video is just about the four different types of objects that you can put into a publisher document and are, are in a publisher document if you use a template and the fact that they're layered like this sometimes causes confusion and only when you see how they work individually can you understand how some of the template um, solutions have been set up and you may also have things in the background page um, as well which can be laid also so hopefully you found that useful thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one